Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain video. And in this video, I wanted to put together a quick CQC guide. Now yes, if you are a Metal Gear Solid veteran, then I am sure you are no doubt well versed in the ways of CQC. But if you're new to the series, or you just want a quick reminder, then there's actually more to it than simply spamming the right trigger or the R2 button. In fact, there's actually a couple of hidden moves which will prove mighty useful. So let's get started. To begin with, when you approach an enemy and you are standing within melee range, we're going to call this your neutral stance. From this point, you have two main options. You can either spam the right trigger or the R2 button to unleash a flurry of up to five attacks, and the last attack will knock out your opponent. Alternatively, if you press left trigger or L2 during this flurry of attacks, you'll actually disarm your opponent. This will make you steal the enemy's weapon, and you'll then point it at them. And in doing so, this results in a holdup. Now yes, you can also hold up enemies using your own weapon, but in this case it happens from a disarm. Now once you've got an enemy held up, from there you can then press L1 or LB to interrogate the enemy. This will then bring up a series of different options, and you can use this to get information out of them. If you jump between the spit it out and where are the rest commands, you'll usually find that they're cooperative enough to kind of reveal something, be that the enemy location, the location of a blueprint, or something else like that. And if an enemy is approaching, then you can actually tell them to get down, so they can lie down on the ground in the hope that they won't be seen by their comrades. And then obviously once you've finished interrogating them, and you've got what you need out of them, then you can either leave them there, kick them to knock them out, or just shoot them in the head. Now if we return for a second to the neutral position, the other main option is to hold down RT or R2, see if you hold it down, you'll then grab the enemy, and you'll put them into a restrained position. From here, aside from them being an obvious shield, which will protect you against enemy fire, you can also once again bring up a series of different options. If you then press L1 or LB, you'll bring up the exact same interrogate options that you had when holding up the enemy. However, the added bonus of doing this whilst restraining the enemy as opposed to holding them up is that you also have a series of other options. Once you've finished with the enemy, you can spam R2 or RT to knock them out. Alternatively, you can press triangle or Y to slit their throat. Or if you press the left stick with R2 or the right trigger, you'll actually throw them on the ground and this again results in a KO. Now finally, if we return again to the neutral stance, if you don't want to grab them or pummel them, you can go straight for a throw, and if you press RT or R2 together with the left stick, then again you'll throw them straight away. So as you can see, when within melee distance of an enemy, you have a variety of different options. Disarm is probably the one that most people don't know unless you've done your homework. Now hopefully you guys found this video helpful, and as always if you did, a like will be massively appreciated, plus it also helps other people see this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any questions, and aside from that, thank you very much for watching, take it easy, catch you next time. Peace out.